An old teacher of mine once said starting anything with the quote is lazy writing, but he never said anything about a picture. So here's a picture of a quote. There it is. Really, actually, it's a quote on a t-shirt modeled here by one of our excellent directors. That's Andy. Hello, Andy. It says, I remember when that was a field. It says who? Well, that's the whole state of Idaho. But for our purposes today, we're attributing that quote to the Northwest Neighborhood Association. Yes, back in 2016, City of Boise annexed a section of farmland and now a developer is building homes. City of Boise has said many times over that we're amid a, a housing shortage. So building more is part of the solution, but the surrounding neighborhood association says that this creates more problems that the city didn't properly address. And the state Supreme Court agrees. Here's Andrew Bartline. On the corner of Selfish and Superior, longtime locals are challenging a new namesake. I'm, I'm proud of my neighborhood. Richard Llewellyn's led the uphill battle for the better part of a decade. Yeah, yeah. To protect the history of the land, he knows best. We were described as thrifty farmers when I was a kid out here, okay? And we've taken on the biggest city, biggest developer, and the real estate law firm that wrote the book, literally, on law, real estate law here in Idaho. And we've won. They've won in part. Just this week, the state Supreme Court ruled the zoning process used to make this development possible so, is void. I believe technically that's not legal now. I think it's just a great opportunity for a reset. I mean, you say take a pause, but take a look at this. Does this look like a pause to you? Well, it's not zoned for that now. Last week, it was and had been since 2019. That's when the Boise City Council voted unanimously to approve the development. Well, City Council has that ability. Eminence over other government arms. Plan and zoning denied it. First and foremost, really, was the fact that there hasn't been a fire station built in this newly annexed area. Upon reviewing the modified application, City Council granted approval, 38 acres, 226 units. Yeah, you got to deal with the fire situation, the traffic, the plan. Or any plan. State law required the city of Boise to explain the relevant standards and factually address the concerns. The state Supreme Court opinion says they didn't. Quote, the city council's reason for decision fails to address the fire service issue in any way and is in violation of the requirements. We therefore reverse the decision of the district court in part and remand this matter with instructions to invalidate Boise City Council's actions. And the neighborhood association stood up and held the city to their own standard. That's essentially, and, and this will set a precedent, not just for Boise, but across Idaho. The city now has to go back to the start and explain why and how bogarting the block was best from the beginning. And that will help the whole process. And if it if it's still grossly problematic, then we keep fighting. We're still waiting to hear back from the city of Boise to return our call or email. Both of those efforts to get in touch was before 11 a.m. today, mostly to understand exactly what's next. That 38 acre plot of land is not zoned for this project anymore, but the construction workers are out there still building these homes. So, Joe, this is kind of the interesting part of it. A lot of nuance here. Mm -hmm. This is straight from the Supreme Court opinion. This is not grounds for reversal because any errors did not prejudice the neighborhood association's substantial rights. So this isn't taking the whole project away and getting rid of it. It's just saying go back and do it correct from the beginning. And that piece they need to do correct is before they get the zoning in place. So a lot of nuance there. What happens next? Is it paused? We need to figure that out. It's interesting because before I, I'd learned more about the situation through your story, when you and I were just chatting this morning, I wondered, is there a situation where someone would come in and knock down these houses that are just only half built? But it sounds like that's not the case. It does not seem like that's the situation at all. At best, it seems to be paused, and that's the language that the Neighborhood Association used as well. There are things that they want fixed and addressed, and it seems that this process would do that if done correctly. And we saw in the, in the story of the Corey Barton home, the CBH home trucks uh, in the area. Were you able to talk with him today? Talked with him on the phone briefly. I'll give them a little bit of credit. It was shortly before the show did not have a lot of time to explain to us, but they did say they are aware of it and they're working on uh, figuring out what they are doing going forward. I imagine there's communication with the city they need to hammer out first before telling us what's ahead. Still though, you were out there today. It looked like there was a lot of work being done on the houses. They weren't slowing down. They, they were getting to work. Yep. Okay. Andrew, we'll see you soon. Thank you so much.